Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see enhanced filtering for connectors in Exchange Online. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Alright, I am logged on to the portal. So you will go to security.microsoft.com and when you are at the home screen, just come to email and collaboration, click on policies and rules, click on threat policies. And click on enhanced filtering under rules okay and here you will see this option what exactly does this mean so properly configured inbound connectors are a trusted source of incoming mail to Microsoft 365 or office 365 but in complex routing scenarios where email for your Microsoft 365 domain is routed somewhere else first the source of the inbound connector is typically not the true indicator of where the message came from it can be from third-party cloud filtering services it can be from managed filtering appliances it can be from hybrid environments or from on-premises exchange okay in this case the message will adopt the source IP of the service appliance or an on-premises exchange organization that sit that sits in front of Microsoft 365 the first hop would be that other party not the Microsoft 365 so the message arrives in Microsoft 365 with a different source IP address. This behavior is not a limitation of Microsoft 365. It's simply how SMTP works. So to avoid these scenarios or to overcome these scenarios of Exchange Online Protection and Microsoft Defender for Office 365 by using enhanced filtering for connectors also known as skip listing. So after you enable enhanced filtering for connectors, mail routing in complex routing scenarios will allow the IP address and sender information to be preserved. Okay, which will maintain the source information and message integrity. So here we have this ARC seal, ARC seal, which is typically used to maintain the source information and message integrity using DKIM. However, DKIM frequently fails because many services that modify the message don't support ARC. So to help in these situations, enhanced filtering for connectors not only preserves the IP address from the previous hop, but also intelligently recovers from D DKIM signature failures. Okay, now if you want to, it says uh, to filter on the message that arrives over the connector and it enhanced filtering skips the source IP addresses and looks back in the routing path to determine the actual source of the incoming messages here you can include here you have to include all the trusted IP addresses that are associated with the with your on-premise host or the third-party filters that send email into the into our Microsoft 365 or office 365 organization and if you if we have mail flow rules or or we also call that transport rules that set the SCL to minus one for messages that flow through these connector you must disable those mail flow rules okay you can connect to exchange online PowerShell as well and to Configure enhanced filtering for connectors. You need to be member of one of the following role groups. You need to be security administrator in the Microsoft Defender portal or you should be part of organization management in Exchange Online. And because I have this dev environment, but you here you will see the connector's name, right? And then you will select the inbound connector that we want to configure by clicking on that name and then in the connector flyout that appears, we'll we'll configure the IP addresses to skip. We will configure disable enhanced filtering for connectors. We will. Uh, it's recommended that automatically detect and skip the last IP address and whatever we options have to configure the enhanced filtering for connectors and you can apply that to entire organization you can apply to a small set of users and you click on save when you are finished i hope this was informative for all of you guys if you need any further information please mention them in the comment section 
and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.